my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy and I like to have a good time over here. Today's video is going to be my go-to work makeup look and acne coverage. Now this is the look that I use for going to lunch, going to work, doing pretty much whatever I need to do. It's just my go-to. Super quick, easy, simple. For me it is a full face so if you're just a no makeup makeup kind of person this is not going to be your video. This is still a full beat. It is acne coverage because I am struggling with that right now so I am not wearing makeup a lot that's why I've been putting out as many videos and it makes me so sad but I'm just gonna say screw it keep going my face ain't perfect nobody's is so I'm just gonna keep doing me <laughs> but if I see how I got this look then just please keep watching Alright guys, so getting started, now I don't do as much as I normally would for like an Instagram look or anything like that I still do my normal face but my eyebrows, my eyes, everything is just a little bit more minute, <laughs> like a lot less. Now I always start with the Atapja Silk Canvas, whether it's the liquid... <laughs> okay, anyways, I always start with the liquid silk canvas or the regular silk canvas, either one. I feel like they both do pretty much the same thing. One's just a little bit easier to use because it is in a pump, but I am going to apply this first. And I did go ahead and already do my hair because I normally don't do that on camera. I just curl it with a straightening iron or a flat iron. <laughs> now my face is breaking out again. I don't know what it is. I think I need to go to my doctor or something because I feel like it's hormonal or something because that's not fun. Now for all of my face products, I will go ahead and move my hair because that drives me crazy. But I do have some active acne, some past. These are all like little scars over here from last week and I do have some new ones down here. So this is fun. <laughs> Not really. But I always start with the silk canvas. Again, whether it's the liquid or the other one. Now I'm also gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because it is very hydrating. It's cooling, but it's also super, super like tacky. And I will say a trick to these it is going to be apply the Tatcha first because if you apply it after it, you're gonna get like these weird little bead things coming up. But look. <laughs> super, super tacky. Now before I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder, I am, where is it, going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is what I'll use to go ahead and conceal a little bit so I use less foundation. Now I honestly just open it and then I tap my finger on the little stick that's in there and then I just go over. Anywhere I might need it. Now I think another important step too is always washing your hands before doing your face. I neglect to do that sometimes, especially if I'm just sitting down to do a look. But I always end up washing my beauty sponge and I wash my hands at the same time. So that gives me a little bit more of an even base, not too much because again, I don't like to build up a lot on the skin, but I only go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder to set my primers. I adore this stuff. I've hit pan a while ago, but it also lasts such a long time. And I don't use a lot. I just go over my T-zone, my problem area with pores, which is gonna be pretty much the entire center of my face. 
and around my nose. Now I am still gonna go in with the Ordinary Foundation. I use mine in the shade 1P instead of 1N. Like before, I love this foundation. It's beautiful, it's not matte, it's not dewy. It's the perfect satin finish. It's just a gorgeous foundation. It doesn't have full, like full, full coverage, but it does have a nice high medium coverage and that's what I prefer. So that's what I'm gonna go in with. And I end up using about two pumps. And I will be using the Color Brain Sponge, another favorite. And again, I'm going to go back in to the shape tape. And now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I'm going to go into my Makeup Shack Contour Palette, of course my two favorite shades. I just mix them, it's Ashton Sculpt, and then I do use the T25 from them as well. And then I just blend this out with my face powder. I've always used the L'Oreal one just because it's cheap, quick easy, doesn't irritate my skin, and the Morphe M439, and it just blends it out beautifully, and then I will take my sponge with a little bit more, and I'll go straight down, and on the side. Of course for bronzer, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula. And I use the T7 for the makeup shop just because it's tapered and I love the shape of the brush. It makes me sad, but that's why I honestly haven't been wanting to film. It's just my face is just not happy. So I hate applying products on top of it because it just never looks as good or I can never get it to look as good and it's just irritating. Now for blush, I'm going to go with the Jouer Adore blush right here. It is so beautiful. Obviously, it's my favorite. And then I do use an E4 from Morphe. And I'll clean that up with some extra translucent powder and the contour sponge from Morphe. Just to make sure I don't go down too far. And I'm blending everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a second. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. All right guys, so brows are finished. Now I like to go in with a little bit more of the Hula Bronzer, and I just use a huge fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M439, an oldie but a goodie. And I just like to put a little bit of this through the crease to give me a little bit of definition. And it really just kind of brings the eye together a little bit because obviously we have bronzer on the face and it just, I don't know, I just like having a little bit of color through the crease, whether it's bronzer, an actual eyeshadow, whichever, but I already use this bronzer and I don't want to pull out the whole like, eyeshadow palette, so bronzer is my go-to. And then I'll use a T33 from the Makeup Shack. And I'll just connect the outer corner and bring it in. And then I'll just kind of go over the whole thing. It's super quick, super kind of messy because you're just using bronzer. You're not being very precise with anything. 
but I'm still blending it out. Now you can, of course, leave it blank like this eye, but I just feel like this one is a little bit more put together without even really trying. So it's just personal preference. Same thing with lashes. I am going to be adding a lash today, but you can, of course, not. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to see more looks without lashes, but without being too dramatic, but I still prefer a lash even on a super simple look like this. Just personal preference. You're more than welcome to leave off the lash. I just have zero lashes. Even with mascara, I have like none. <laughs> it's not fair. And then I just make sure, I always end up coming out and bringing it a little bit more dramatic so you don't have to do also. But I do just pull myself back and make sure that I'm pretty much even with everything. I'll go back into the Laura Mercier highlight. This is a concealer brush. And I'll put that on the inner corner. And the brow bone, just so it kind of connects right there. Next, I'm going to go in with the Bad Girl Bang 24 Hour Pencil. This is in Deep Brown. I'm just going to use this to tight line. And just the outer corner. I usually just do this because it helps blend my lashes in because I'm not doing anything too dramatic. And I am going to be going in with the Roller Lash from Benefit. See, I just have no lashes. And that's after curling them when I started also, so fun stuff. <laughs> now I do focus a little bit more on my lower lash line. Just because you're not going to see these, but you will see the lower lashes. So... I spend a little extra time separating them and adding a little bit extra of product. I need some water. <laughs> and I will be using my Dubai lashes today. And I've been using, I've ran out of my duo glue, so I have been using their glue as well. And let me tell you, man, it lasts a long time. Like, I still have to pull them off at the end of the night. I know I shouldn't, but... I am starting to hurry because I actually am going to work and I'm a little light. Now, I did go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Liner, and then I just applied some of the Too Faced Lip Injection, the original one. Whew, it burns for like 10 seconds and then it goes away. It's not that bad. And this glue from the Makeup Shack does dry pretty quickly, so you don't have to sit there and wait for too long. That area right there, man. Mm. I love the difference a lash makes. Now I'm gonna go in with the House Laboratories liquid liner. I'm just gonna go on the inner corner and then right along the lash. just to blend it. All right guys, this is the completed look. It is my go-to full face of makeup. Now it is not a no makeup makeup look. It is a full beat. I like a full face of makeup. It is my favorite. This is just my go-to. And again, the acne situation right now is not making more fun, but I'm just gonna push through it. It is what it is. It is a downer because my skin was doing so good for me for so long and then now it's just wanting to freak out all the time. I'm trying to figure it out. We'll get there. <laughs> Bear with me. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. 
Of course, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this look. What are your favorite go-to products? Like, let us know what your lineup is. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you receive the uploads from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.